Okay, um, here's a vector word problem, and this is a classic, okay? So, it says a wind is blowing west at 55 miles an hour, okay, and what direction should a pilot steer a plane with an airspeed of 350 miles an hour to achieve a true north course? First of all, I'm going to cross out a word. I'm going to do some proofreading here. Course. I'm going to cross that out and put vector because that's what an airplane does. It's going in a certain direction. It's going towards Philadelphia, LA, Indianapolis at, you know, a magnitude. 350 miles an hour. Um, 500 miles an hour, um, maybe we're in a 747, I don't know. 747 is probably one of my favorite planes. Never been on one, but I think they're cool. Okay, so, and this is real life stuff, you know? I mean, if, if, if I want to fly to LA and there, there's a wind, obviously it's not going to be sustained the whole way, but, you know, there's going to be a certain portion of the flight that I'm going to have to compensate for that, okay? Or if I'm a computer programmer, I'm going to have to compensate for it when I write the autopilot program. So let's just go ahead and just, uh, let's see here. So I'm going to draw just a coordinate axis here. It's not, doesn't have to be accurate. Um, I'm going to draw a vector. That's for wind. And here is, I'm going to draw that P. Okay, and that's for plane. That's for that's for the direction I want to go in my plane. So if I, if the wind's blowing this way and I want to go this way, shouldn't I steer a little bit this way, kind of like Kentucky windage? If you're shooting a shotgun or something, I'm gonna draw that here. I'm gonna call it vector A. So think about it. If I if I steer this way and I get a wind pushing me this way, depending on which way I steer. Hopefully, I'll end up going, they'll, they'll cancel out, they'll add together, whatever, and I'll end up going north, okay? So, I guess we'll have to solve for theta. That's what it's looking like, okay? I'm going to look for a direction. I'm going to look for an angle away from, tr from north that I'm going to have to steer this plane with this wind headed at me. So, so let's see here. So, what, what W equals 55... And P equals, let's see, so I'm flying at 200, what direction, this is kind of weird, I made this problem up by the way, so let me just make sure it's okay. In what direction should a plane, a pilot steer a plane with an airspeed of 350 miles an hour? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say that A is 350. I'm flying 350 miles that way, okay, but what how, how far that way I go depends on, you know, what's going on. So, let's see here. The first thing I can do is I'm going to rewrite this. And I'll tell you what, when we rewrite this, I can actually think about it. You know, of course, during the whole flight, this, this is going to change. But for right now, and for, you know, you know the weather I'm count encountering at the time for a little bit, I mean, this wind's going to go here. I'm traveling this way. The wind's going to keep going this way. So, I mean, it makes sense from just a regular reality standpoint and just from the fact that, you know, two vectors have the same magnitude and direction or equal, then, you know, mathematically it makes sense too. And in reality, you know, yeah, the wind's going if to... I'm, if I'm down here, if I'm at X, wind's still blowing. If I'm up here, wind's still blowing. Okay, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So, you know, we, we can go ahead and do that. So, let me just redraw this. Ooh, that was terrible. Okay, and here's what we want. We want theta. And this is 55. And A is 350. Okay, so let's see here. Sine of theta, in this case, is going to be 55 over... Fifty-five over three fifty. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my calculator. I'm gonna see if that reduces. 
Okay, that's one. I'm going to round it to 1.57. I don't know if you can see that. So, go sine theta equals, well, uh, actually, let's not do that, okay? What we'll do is I get a better idea. We'll take the inverse sine. Because I want the angle that's going to give me the sine. Of, of 55 over 350, don't I? So let me take the inverse sine. Gives me nine degrees. So that says theta equals nine degrees, okay? So I'm gonna redraw my little axis here. And I'm just going to use blue for a new vector. That's not really 9 degrees, but that's okay. You just use your imagination. So it looks like if I've got a wind vector acting on my uh, actual vector, it's going to uh, it's going to give me my true course. Okay, so I have to steer. I have to steer in the direction of A to make it in the direction or to, to, to uh, achieve vector T. Okay, did I use T up there? Oh no, I used P. Hang on, I used P. Okay, so, so I have to uh, north, I think that's how you write it, north nine degrees east. So I'm going north, but I'm also going nine degrees east. So. That's basically, I, I hope I didn't, uh, I, I know I'm really fragmented and I don't, I don't, I'm not well spoken, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm like George Bush giving a speech, but uh, you know, just kind of bear with me and I just, just pay attention to the math because that's what's important, you know, uh, we just kind of do some of that and uh, let's just kind of recap, you know, so, you know, we just move some vectors around, right? So, more to come, so... Um, I, I appreciate comments. If you can't understand me and I'm being a wacko, just let me know. Okay? Alright. Right on. Cool.